Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome here to the St. Petersburg Speedway. And uh, we're ready here for 25 laps of action here in the second race of the Road Course Challenge. Um, second of three. It's going to be a long one here today, folks. But pit stops will come into play, and the cautions are on. So this should hopefully go by really quickly. So uh, we're going to see what who's going to come out on top in the after the 42 laps here. Gabe Williams already got a win here. And uh, already win in the Road Course Challenge. So we'll see what's going to happen here today. Jacob Antony on the pole, as you can see. Different paint scheme this race weekend. The Cheerios colors. Everybody's got different paint schemes. But before we go all through all the paint schemes, we've got a few new drivers in here today's race. Dropped a few of my own drivers from this series. Uh, first of all, here's one, Michael Walton. He'll be taking the ride here in the number one McDonald Chevy. And another one is um, a familiar face, Jessica Shelton. She'll be driving in the 29 Budweiser 29, and then um, one driver and her making her first ever, actually she's starting right behind her, her first ever in our 2003 offline race, that's Crystal Reed in the 87, Burger King Toyota Camry, a retro 87 there. And then, um, so now we're going to go ahead and go through all the paint schemes, uh, so let's see how those three drivers are going to do today. Jacob Antony, as I said, the Cheerio Chevy, and then you have uh, PJ Williams in the Pilot Travel Center Chevy. Then you got Megan Atkins, she'll be driving the GoDaddy Mobile One Chevy. And then um, Alex Hawkins, he'll be driving the Clorox Ford Fusion. And then Dylan Poteet, he'll be starting up here into the front in the Axe Peace 42 Chevy. Peachy London driving the Pepsi Max Fast and All Ford. 24 goes to for uh, Charles Sanford. He's driving the Exalta, um, also with Texas A&M on the side. Ter uh, Tim Fralick, he'll be driving the uh, the well the Frosted Flakes, you, the the Kellogg's car, the five. And then uh, Jordan Copiel driving the the Crossbone Crossbones ninety five the Skull Car, Ford. And then uh, Ken Schrader, uh, not Ken Schrader. <laughs> wow. Zachary Fitzwater is driving the Pontiac G eight that uh, Ken Schrader drove in two thousand one. He'll that's the M and M's car. And uh, Nick Pericles will be driving the STP forty three. Uh, James Qualls driving the M and M's number eleven. And he's got his teammate right behind him, Ian Dutta, in the 18 Interstate Batteries colors. Rachel Atkins driving, uh, it's not quite the same, but on the side it is in a little bit of a lighter shade of orange. So she'll still be driving the A&W colors. Uh, Zach Goldbeck driving the Motorola colors for here in the 23 Toyota Camry. Calvin Malone driving the 15th Camry 30th Anniversary colors. Trevor Michael driving the AccuDoc Solutions 51 Chevy. And then, as I said, Michael Walton, he'll be driving the McDonald's colors. Cody Lamas staying in that 48. Um, he'll be staying in that uh, 48 lows just for this race weekend. I thought everyone was different, but he'll be switching to a different paint scheme come, uh, going to um, uh, Auto Club next week. Uh, Justin Perry, he'll be driving the Micogen number three. Uh, Jamie Malone did not also change his paint scheme, so he'll be changing that to Auto Club next week. Preston Plore driving the 16 Scotch colors. Seth Cole, he'll be driving his, um, I think this is the same. Or no, it's no, it's a different one. The different one, the Sony PS3, and I think that's the last of us. I think, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the last of us. In colors. And then uh, Dylan Young driving the 22 cat colors that Ward Borton drove in 2001. Uh, Dougie Shears driving the Outback colors. Better do this quickly. Andy Timmons in the Nesquik colors. Tony Blazer in the Bass Pro colors. 98 in that Dogie Coin. In that Dogie Coin, 98 colors. Uh, Michael Hegdahl driving the 55 Peak Motor Oil colors. Zestfully clean, Mr. Sky Commons driving the 17. 83 for Gage Anderson in the Burger King colors. Paul Menard, um, Ricky Falcon driving uh, the Certainteed Insulation colors. Jessica Shelton driving the Bud Colors, Crystal Reed in the 87 Burger King, uh, James Silver Fox driving the Target car that Casey Mears drove, 21 for Alyssa Hall, the Mellow Yellow Colors, the 88 for Cole Daly, uh, new paint scheme for him, the Mountain Dew, um, Drew Austin driving Furniture Row, Gabe Williams driving Buck Commander, Kate, Chris Washer driving the Dodge Colors, Dave, uh, Sean Gallagher driving the KFC Colors, and Daniel Day will round out the field in the Miller Lite Retro Color. So we're about to ready to get this race started. Here we go. We're going to get the command to fire the engines here today at St. Petersburg. Drivers, start your engines. Here we go. I really failed there. Um, these guys are going to take a full pace lap here today. 
Looks like no one's gonna have trouble on the start. They're all gonna jump out. Not sure if they're gonna form the double file start. Yes, they will. They'll have the double file start. They had to roll off single file. But when if a caution were to come out, and let me tell you, cautions will come out in this race. Um, we're gonna um. Because, I mean, I, saw, I ran some testing races. Oops, sorry. I ran some testing races here, and, uh, well, there were some crashes, and they're around this corner, actually, so cautions are bound to come out. Set of 25 laps. Long one here today. And then after this race, we were going to go to Lime Rock, but Lime Rock's going to become the third and final stop in the Road Course Challenge. That we're going to Auto Club next week for a special reason. You'll know that once the once the Auto Club race comes out, which will also be recorded right after this race from St. Petersburg. Lots of new schemes here today. Only schemes that were not changed. Cody Lamas will dr drive. Actually, I'll reveal it now. We drive the Jimmy Johnson Foundation colors next week, and Jamie Malone will be driving a scheme. I have yet to decide which scheme he'll be driving. And that will be a hard corner once they get up to full speed. They'll make, they'll try to avoid that little spot right there. They're going to loop around a couple more times. Around, around more times here and see what's going to happen here. And then there's this heavy hairpin here. Here we're going to see who's going to leave. As the winner today, Pace Car is in. Ready to get for 25 laps of action around the long 14 turn St. Petersburg. Here we go. Green flag is out, and here we go. We're green. Jacob Anthony takes him down. That's that. That other line's going to have the advantage into this corner here. And a whoa, man. Anthony got a little loose there. Already three wide back there around Tim Fralick. Back around him. Oh, and we do have a spin back there. I don't know who it was. Oh, and it's Tandy Timmons. Jacob Anthony's got a commanding lead, but Andy Timmons, Sean Galligan involved, Daniel Day, and the and the newcomer, Crystal Reed, in her first start. She's got damage. Sky Commons in the Zest car. She's got damage. He, I mean, he's got damage. What, oh, do we have a stack up here? No, I'm just seeing things. I don't know if Drew Austin has damage. I think he maybe was just held up. The caution is out, and uh, Megan Atkins gotten around for the, uh, gotten around the 31. Gonna come through this hairpin. Remember, I put cautions on j and pit stops just so that maybe we can get some good racing here. Because as you know, road courses they can jump out the big leads. As Anthony will take the lead. Megan Atkins rolls in second, third for P.J. Williams, fourth for Dylan Poteet, fifth for Alex Hawkins, sixth for Jordan Culp, seventh for Charles Sanford, eight, oh, sorry, wrong button, eighth for Nick Pericles, ninth for Pichu London, and tenth was the Indada. So we're going to go ahead and jump back and see what happened to bring out the caution. It involves Sean Galligan, Sky Commons, Crystal Reed, Andy Timmons, and we, oh, and and, and uh, Dylan, Daniel Day ran into the back of in the back of Drew Austin. Now Drew Austin's got a bunch of damage. Who did he run into the back of? Oh, he ran into the back of Chris Washer. And now Dylan Young's got damage. Oh boy, backing up under caution here. This is not good. It looks like Galligan's day is done. Uh, Crystal Reed trying to continue. And also the day is done for Sky Commons. So we're going to go ahead and jump back and take a look and see what happened to bring out the first caution today here at St. Petersburg. Live here on ESPN. First car I saw around was Andy Timmons. They're four wide up ahead there with Walton, Perry, um, Lamas, and um, and uh, Malone. But then they, uh, Timmons was the first car I saw turned around. So we're gonna see what happens here. I think he's gonna make contact here with Blazer. I think, or no, maybe Dylan Young's gonna hook him around. Yeah, right there. He's gonna hook him right there. That's the, that's what sent him around. And uh, Hegdahl did a good job. Silver Fox just squeaked by. Dally just squeaked by. But Sky is not going to be so lucky right there. He'll get damage. Dylan Young gave him another boot. And, uh, oh, and Chris Washer did get a piece of that. Now, 
now, now that, and here comes Daniel Day trying to squeak through. Can't do it. Uh, now I want to figure out what happened to uh, Crystal Reed here. Oh my gosh! She was trying to get a buy this wreck, and then Galligan was going around. I don't know why Galligan was going around. Maybe um, let's see here. Why did Galligan go around? Oh, he got turned off the nose of. Oh, he got turned off the nose of Chris Washer. And when Galligan went around, this happens. Crystal Reed, nowhere to go, slams right into the side of Galligan. Luckily, passenger side. Ooh, wow, it's a miracle how Drew Austin got through that. So that's how Crystal Reed got her damage. So, yeah, that's what Dan. Oh, ooh, man, threading the needle, Daniel Day. That time he missed. But um, this time we're going to go ahead and uh, jump back to the green flag, see if these guys made any pit stops, and uh, we'll see you right back there for the green. And they did make pit stops here today, folks. Tim Fralick, now the race leader. Second is Rachel Atkins. Sisters running two and three. Fourth now, Dylan Poteet. Fifth, Jordan Culp. Sixth, PJ Williams. Seventh is Charles Sanford. Eighth is Ian Dutta. Ninth is Zachary Fitzwater. And tenth is Jacob Antony. As we're going to get ready to get back to green. Oop. Back to green. We'll take a look in a minute. And we'll give you a full field rundown as they're all trying to catch up. As uh, Here we go. We're back to green. Rachel going to try to keep close tabs, and whoa, man, they're already fanning out three and four wide back there. Front three, single file, battles on for fourth between Culp and Poteet. We're bound to have another caution. Now Poteet's going for third, or was going for third under Atkins. Let's see if you figure out where the rest of the field is. Oh, wait, there's t Tankers, got damage. must have happened on pit, something must have happened. Timmons on pit road also trying to get all that damage repaired. And of course, Chris Washer and all these guys back here. And Cole Daly's now got a hood gone. Seth Cole's got a hood gone. They must have happened. This must have happened under caution when they're coming down or on pit road. Oh, crap. I'm really failing. Meanwhile, still the race leader is Tim Fralick. Rachel Atkins still slides in second. No caution yet. Third is still Megan Atkins. Fourth is still Poteet. And Williams has moved up the fifth. Sanford is up the sixth. Seventh is for Fitzwater. Eighth now is Gordon Jordan Culp has slipped back. Anthony now to ninth. And Jamie Malone has now moved up the tenth place. So here they come down now. The long front straightaway. The wide front straightaway. I think you could probably fit ten cars in one line if they wanted to. Which I don't think they would do. So we're going to see if we're going to keep it clean and green here. Or is it going to be a mess? Tim Freilich's got about an eight-tenths of a second advantage over Rachel Atkins. Her sister Megan right behind her, Dylan Poteet, PJ Williams. Atkins trying to keep close tabs on Tim Freilich. Let's see if anyone's had trouble. Caution's not out, so it looks like no one's encountered trouble. Best battle on the tracks is all back through here. There's our first winner of the um, Road Course Challenge, Gabe Williams, driving the Buck Commander colors. He's jumped up to a nice... He's gotten up to 20th place now, so after starting towards the back. I'm expecting these guys to pit again, so... We're going to have to see what's going to happen here. Is they're going to come around through this hairpin and back down to the front stretch. See what the gap is now. Is Rachel closing or is she losing? I think she is losing ground. Big time. The gap is now almost a full second, so Freilich trying to pull away. Freilich jumping out to a nice lengthy lead now over the Atkins sisters. Just Rachel is really trying to close the gap again. She's got help now in the form of her sister and Dylan Poteet. Around through this corner here. Right here, I think Sanford's trying to close the gap on uh, PJ Williams back there. There's a guy who's desperately needed a good run. 
Zachary Fitzwater. Ever since his debut at Daytona, he wrecked at Daytona. He didn't have a good run at Phoenix. Wrecked at Las Vegas. This guy needs a good run. And he's getting it right now, even though this is non-point, but at least he's getting a good run here at St. Petersburg. Let's see what the gap is now. I think it's not closed anymore. I think it's opened up a bit more. Let's see. Gap is now... Oh, she picked up about a... About two tenths of a, a two one hundredths of a second there that time. It doesn't really make much of a difference, but Tim Freilich and that Kellogg's car rolling away. Let's look for the best battle on track as we see things here. Go to the helicopter cam to see this. Is everybody single? Oh, here's a battle. Battle for 28th, it looks like. Cold Alley and Silver Fox, and it looks like Silver Fox will take that position. Ooh, man, and Falcon stepped up the track there. That opened the door for Dylan Young, and then Jessica Shelton with no hood now back here with Chris Washer. Alex Tanker and Andy Timmons also trying to keep up. And Preston Plord's lost, the, lost the, the team. Don't know what happened to him. Seth Cole's on pit road. Probably trying to fix more damage, and uh, just not a good day for Seth also. Didn't really have a good run at Road America, the first race, and, well, he's not having a good run here at this road course. So, road course is not being friendly to Seth, and uh, now, oh, and Dylan Poteet's been able, is trying to battle Megan Atkins for third. And the gap now back to Rachel is now, she knocked a tenth off. She's slowly gaining on Tim Fralick, and Poteet has gotten around Atkins for third. Let's see if pits, what time these guys are going to have to make pit stops. Oh, and Atkins is back under Poteet. Trying to pull the crossover move, but no, she'll slide back in line. As um Jordan Colt back there was trying to make something happen. Seth Cole's up ahead here. Hopefully he won't come into, may, he may come into play, we don't know. Come through this little turn here. Mm, excuse me. Felix trying to open the gap. I think Poteet's trying to get going here, though. Trying to get around the Atkins system. Whoa, Anthony got the wall back there. Anthony did get the wall, and Anthony is on the move. He, start, he was in ninth last time by, and he's now up to sixth. He just he overtook Sanford, Fitzwater, and Malone. Or not Malone, and Colt. Power move by Anthony. He's now got right side damage, but oh well, what a run for him. The sixth, the gap is now brought out again. Freilich did a good job that time. Here comes Poteet on the inside of Atkins. He got a good run in that corner. They're now going to battle on for second. And Poteet's got it. Oh, he doesn't quite have her now. He has her cleared. And look at this. Anthony on the move. He is, he is now getting for fifth under Williams. Maybe trying to take fourth from Atkins, too. Yeah, Atkins took that corner too wide. Now he's going to have the run on Atkins. Look at Jacob Anthony trying to get back to the lead. Oh, Atkins got the wall that time. And he did wrestle her, that spot away. Anthony up the fourth. Now he's running again under Rachel for third. Look at Jacob Anthony. Oh, and he got the wall again. But that time he got a good run. He is up to third now from sixth. They're getting shuffled back during pit stops. And look at this. Look at the gap now. It's just those two girls were not strong. Did not have strong enough cars. Look at Poteet. He is all over the back bumper of Tim Freilich. Except that time. Oh, and it's because Freilich has to pit. Atkins pits with him, and I think it's they're the only two. They oh no, and there goes Gabe Williams. He's gonna come to pit road. The only ones to pit this time by it looks like, as Dylan Poteet has taken the race lead. Now the question is, they pitted at lap three or lap one or lap two? Excuse me. 
They can make it eight laps. So they'll have to pit one more time. And that could set things up for a wild finish. It's Poteet now as him and Anthony has opened up a bit of a gap now on now third place PJ Williams. Fourth is now Atkins, fifth Sanford. Slight damage on the hood. Look at that, Pichu London, he's rallied up here. He's rallied up here to the front. Oh, and Will London got the wall. So did that Hawkins. I come through this hairpin. Who's going to pit this time? Come down through here. Hit this hairpin. Who's going to pit this time? Anthony's going a higher line, indicating Poteet's coming to pit road. Yep, here comes here comes Poteet. Anthony with the race lead now. Uh, Williams, Atkins, Sanford. Oh, a lot of people coming this time. Fitzwater. Fitzwater. Colt, Malone, Dutta. Teammate, Qualls, Perry, Malone, Lamas, Blazer, Goldbeck, Michaels, Pericles, Hull, Walton, Daly, Washer, Falcon. Um, trying to get to him. Drew Austin, Jessica Shelton, and that it here's gonna be your preferable race leader eventually that will cycle back to to tim fralick new race leader is jacob antony he's opened up a huge gap 4.25 at the line to p2 london but he's gonna have to pit they will pit one more time under green Anthony trying to just increase the gap. He knows he'll have to pit and get that right side damage repaired. Come down through this hairpin. He's going to look like he's going to pit this time. I think everybody else will pit. I don't think anyone's going to stay out. Because here comes Anthony. He's going to come down and pit. London, he's coming down. Hawkins is coming down. Hegdahl's looking to make the indication to come down. Shears. Next in line. Um, I don't think Preston Plore. There's the leader, Tim Fralick. Who I think will retake the race lead. Rachel Atkins pitted along with him. So she's trying to keep close tabs. And there's Dylan Poteet. Oh, and wait! Caution's out. Oh, and it's Alyssa Hall. She has stalled on the racetrack. Oh, boy, and this changes everything. Freilich is the leader. Third would be Poteet. Fourth, Williams. Fifth is Gabe Williams. An incredible pit strategy. Sixth, Dylan Young. Seventh, Megan Atkins. Eighth, Charles Sanford. Ninth, Zachary Fitzwater. And tenth will be Seth Cole. I think... I think that's how it's going to work. Oh, we forgot to document the cars out of the race. Gage Anderson, uh, Daniel Day, Zach, Sky Commons, uh, Crystal Reed, and Sean Galligan out of the race. But man, oh man, this the tables have turned now. Caution is out. There is Jacob Antony. He's trying to get going. Along with Pichu London, but these two are going to be the race leaders, it looks. Like, and um, that's going to set up a nice finish. And with the caution coming out, that could set different things. This That means everybody could make it on one more pit stop. So here they come. They're going to come to the caution. I, I'm, I'm thinking these are going to be the two leaders. Let's see. No, they're saying Preston Plord is the leader. They're calling Preston Plordley. I guess he didn't pit. Wow. Incredible pit strategy by Preston Plord. He's credited as the race leader. They got to wait for the pack to come here. Freelick is second. Third is Atkins. Fourth is Poteet. Fifth, Williams. Sixth for Gabe Williams. Seventh for Dylan Young. Eighth for Megan Atkins. Ninth for Charles Sanford. And tenth, Alex Hawkins. So now we're going to go ahead and take a look back and see what happened to bring out the second caution here today. It looks like Alyssa Hull was involved in this one. 
Take a look here. What happened to Alyssa Hall here? Battling 29th with Nick Pericles. I think she just took this corner too wide. Just going to hit that tire barrier right there. Took it too wide and swipes the side. And that's what's going to end up killing her engine. And that ended her day in an instant like that. So that's all that happened to Alyssa Hall right there. And the caution immediately came out for it. So... That's what happened to bring up the caution. We're going to go ahead and jump back to the green flag and see if we're gonna, who's going to be the leader if they actually decided to make weirdly make pit stops again. So let's go ahead and jump back to the green. And so it appears to me they did make pit stops again. These guys are trying to rally up to the pace car. The leader is now Dylan Poteet. Second is Williams. Third is Freilich. Fourth is Tony Blazer. Fifth is Preston Plord. Sixth, Rachel Atkins. Seventh, Gabe Williams. Eighth is Megan Atkins. Ninth is Michael Hagdahl. And tenth is Zachary Fitzwater. I think that's what how it's going to go. Dylan Poteet, they're going to stay in one line here. So, man, oh, man, they made pit stops again. So that means they'll have to make pit stops right around lap 22 and 23 that's going to shuffle the field around a lot come through here and let's go ahead and just jump back to see who's in 11th it should be dylan young 11th is dylan young 12th alex hawkins 13th ian dutta 14th nick pericles 15th is zach is uh, james silver fox 16th zach goldbeck 17th is cody lamas 18th jamie malone 19th is teammate james calls and 20th is trevor michaels so Okay, here we go. We're going to get back to green flag racing here. Dylan Poteet, now the race leader. Yes, here we go. We're back to green. And look at that. Williams jumps up high. You can make passes like that. But they're normally not good because it's a right-hander right here. And uh, Williams is going to pay for it. So will Preston Plord. Dylan Poteet jumps out to a big, big lead. Battles on for second between Williams and Freilich. Poteet, meanwhile, he's going to try to pull away. Mm, looks like Williams is... Oh, and Williams got the wall! He got the wall there, too! So, Freilich now is going to take advantage of second as Poteet pulls away. Oh, and Atkins got the wall back there. Sanford got the wall. Let's see here. Oh, and Atkins got that tire barrier, but she didn't blow it, so. Oh! Walton! And Shears! I think Shears is just held up behind him. Yeah! Shears will drive away, and the caution is out. I don't think we're going to need a replay. I think you basically saw what happened. Walton took that corner way too wide. And and he hit it. He hit that wall and it killed his day. So now instead of going back to take the replay, we're going to go ahead and jump ahead. We're going to go ahead and take a quick break. Long race here to the road course challenge. The longest road course challenge race we're going to have. As Dylan Poteet, he has the lead, but if they make pit stops, that may change. So we're going to go ahead and take a quick commercial break. We'll be back. Getting ready to get back to green flag racing here. A uh, few drivers did make pit stops. I saw Michael Hegdahl and Tony Blazer sacrifice their positions in the top 10. So now the lineup is Poteet the leader. Second is Freilich. Third is Williams. Fourth is Atkins. The Atkins sisters fourth and fifth. Sixth, Preston Plord. Seventh is Gabe Williams. Eighth is Charles Sanford. Ninth, Zachary Fitzwater. And tenth is Alex Hawkins. So Dylan Poteet's going to try to open up another gap again. Is Freilich going to do the same thing Williams did? And is Williams going to overtake second? Let's see here. Ooh, the Atkins sisters, they jump up a pie. Trying to launch an assault. Oh, look at that. Williams. He got a good run into the corner there. He's going to take sec. Try to take second away from Freilich. 
And now Atkins is trying to slide in line, but look at Preston Plord. He bold moved by Plord to go for third, but Atkins slides in line. Atkins is going to go for second under Williams. Meanwhile, all this happening behind the leader, Dylan Poteet. Poteet's got the lead now. It's eight laps to go here. Williams now slides in line second, third Atkins. Oh, and Sanford got the wall hard. All right, here's that trouble spot corner. What's going to happen this time? Ooh, Sanford. Fitzwater. Malone got close. Ooh, Timmons and Anthony, they got close. But everyone made it this time. Woo, everybody made it. But the way pit stops go... Blazer, pit, Blazer and Hegdahl pitted at lap 17. That's right on the bubble. These guys will have to pit one more time if this gets into a long green flag run. Meanwhile, Williams and Atkins, they're trying to work together to run down Dylan Poteet. Fourth is Freilich and fifth is Plord. Sixth Sanford, Atkins has slid to seventh. The gap back to Williams last time was 1.21. This time, I think it would have closed this time. As uh, here they come around here, I think we're gonna hit that trouble spot. I think no, this isn't the trouble spot. Right here. Mm, Plore got close to the wall that time. Here we go. Poteet's through. Williams, Atkins, Freilich implored. Williams is by. I don't think there's any double file action. So you get right back here to Hegdahl and Pericles. Uh-oh. Ooh, Pericles got close! Atkins got a... I mean, Tanker got a piece of it, but continues. Here we go. Six laps to go. The gap back to Williams. Now 1.18, the gap is closed in for Williams, but Atkins lost ground. Poteet's trying to run away with this. Atkins trying to close in on Williams here to try to maybe close the gap. When they make pit stops, will that shuffle this up? Can the Williams brothers, can they go 1-2 this, this set of road course challenges? Fred looked at that corner a bit wide. Here we go. Poteet's through. Williams, Atkins, Tim Freilich, he's through. Oh, there's James Qualls was close. Ooh, Silver Fox was close. Ooh, Hegdahl. Ooh, he got the wall, and Tanker got it again. Other than that, we're still good. Now they get back to Williams at five laps to go. Nine-tenths of a second. He's closing the gap. Atkins is losing ground. We're going to keep it here right to the finish. I know it's been a long one here, folks. Thank you for sticking around. But I had to make it 25 laps just so pit stops could come into play. Because when I had it set to 20, it wouldn't. Pit stops would not come into play. It's Poteet. They're going to continue rolling around St. Petersburg. Williams still closing that gap. Atkins, maybe. I think she's starting to come back to life. Here they come. They're going to come down through that corner again. Poteet is through. Williams is through. Atkins through. Here's Zachary Fitzwater. This isn't good. Oh, he's through. Williams made it through. Jamie Malone, he made it through. Ooh, Blazer was kind of close. Tanker that time missed it. Drew Austin missed it, and we're all good. Oh, here we go. Pit stops. 
The top five, top six are in. Plord stays out. Atkins stays out. Williams and Qualls, they stay out with his teammate. The 18. Everybody else coming to pit. This changes everything. Who's the race leader now? Preston Plord. The Daytona 500. The Autumn. Cru uh, no, what the heck am I saying? Uh, the. the the Daytona 500 win, or the Twin Peaks 500 win. Oh my gosh, I'm really failing. Battles on for third back there with Qualls. Plor trying to maybe try to hang on. The only two I think would be able to hang on is Blazer and Hegdahl. Blazer's back and was crossed the line in 17. Hegdahl came down and pitted. So I don't know. Once Plord and all these guys pip, the lead would cycle back to Poteet, but I can't be sure. Oh, we're going to go through this again. If the caution comes out, that would end the race. Ooh, Silver Fox. He misses it. Not going to worry about everybody else because they're all single file, it looks like. Plord going to come down this time. Yes, here comes Plord. Atkins is in. Williams is in. Qualls and everybody else is going to stay in. Looks like no. Pichu London. Blazers going to come down and pit. Pichu London and Nick Pericles. They're going to stay out. Jacob Anthony looks like he's going to stay out. But everybody else who did not pit came down. Oh boy. This is going to be very interesting. As Pichu London stays out with Nick Pericles. But I know they're gonna, them two will have to pit next time. Here comes Pericles on the inside, trying to get the lead from London. Anthony way back there. As Pericles is going to try to steal the win. If he can try to stretch it. London and him battling for the race lead. And Pericles still trying to clear him. And he did. Three to go now. Two to go at the line. I think Pericles in London and Anthony will have to pit. And I'll cycle the lead back to Poteet. Them two are going to clear this one. So here we go. Two to go for Pericles. Here at the line. I, I know he's going to have to pit here. He's going to take that shorter line. Oh, he took the higher line that time. Is he going to stay out? Yeah, he's staying out with London. I guess these guys may have made pit stops that I did not see. Two to go. Does Pericles have enough in the tank? London really slipping back. London was with him, and now the lead is now 2.4 seconds and growing. Poteet is now fourth. Fifth is Atkins. Oh, and the caution's out. The caution is out, and that may end it. And everything has gone well for Nick Pericles. Everything went Pericles' way, and now he's en route to getting the win, unless he has to pit. Let's see what happens here. He's going to come down to that hairpin. If he gets that lower line, he has to pit. On the final lap, he would have to pit. But if London stays out, he would come home with the win. Let's see here. Did Nick Pericles play the pitch strategy right? Coming through these final few corners. Taking that higher line. He won't have to pit. He'll hang around. Nick Pericles is going to come down here, take the caution and the white flag, most likely to take this win. She'll slow down here to receive the pace car. Second is London. And the reason for the caution was for Trevor Michaels. Or no. I made a mistake earlier. Presto Poor is not the, autumn, the, the Oh my gosh, why do I keep saying that? That's my church, guys. I'm sorry. Um, the Twin Peaks 500, that was um, Trevor Michaels who won that one. Kind of reminded me there. My mistake. Whoa! Anthony just got spun by Poti! That was weird. 
It's going to come down here, receive the pace car. This race is going to finish under caution here. We will not get back to green flag racing. What's going to happen to Pericles? Does Will he have to pit? Or will he stay out and enjoy the win? I'm sorry for that fail there. Preston Plourd won the veteran shootout. Trevor Michaels won the Daytona 500, uh, the, the Twin Peaks 500. Lots of fails in this one. So here we go. Per Pericles has caught the pace car. London, is he going to try to maybe stay out in case Pericles has to pit? Let's see. I think Pericles is going to stay out. There they come out of four, out of the final corner in turn number 14. Pericles at a measly 52 miles an hour. He's going to come down. He is going to receive the checkered flag and the caution flag. He's going to here win the second road course challenge race. Nick Pericles wins here at St. Petersburg. Wow, great pit strategy by Nick Pericles. Second for Pichu London. Third for Rachel Atkins. Fourth for Tim Fralick. Fifth, Dylan Poteet. Sixth, Gabe Williams. Seventh for Zachary Fitzwater. Much needed run. Eighth for Jacob Antony. Ninth for Zach Goldbeck. And PJ Williams. He'll come home with tenth. Other drivers. Preston Plourd, 11th. Michael Hegdahl. Great pit strategy. Gets him 12th. 13th for Ian Dutta, 14th for Dylan Young, 15th for Tony Blazer, 16th for James Qualls, 17th for Drew Lawson, 18th Calvin Malone, 19th Ricky Falcon, and 20th for Chris Washer. Let's go ahead and see where our um, our um, uh, our uh, newcomers finished. Walton finished out of the race in 34th. Shelton finished in the 23rd, so I think she'll be the highest finishing newcomer. In the 87, of course, for Crystal Reed, she finished 41st out of the race. Not a good start for her career, but luckily this was non-point, so let's see what happens next week when we go to Auto Club. Thank you all so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. Sorry it took me a little while to put another race out, but and this was a long one, so um, I understand if you wanted to skip skip around closer to the end. But um, wow, this was an amazing this is an amazing race here today. It's gonna see what's gonna happen next time next week when we head over to this whenever we head over. To the Gold Coast of California, Fontana, California, Auto Club Speedway. Let's see what happens there. Is, um, we're going to get ready over there, and um, uh, it'll be a little special race. Uh, you'll see once that race is recorded and up on YouTube. So thank you all so much for watching here, the Road Course Challenge here at St. Petersburg. We got one more Road Course Challenge, and that will come from Lime Rock. So uh, thank you for watching again. Live here on ASPN, I am Chris Dollard, and signing off here on the CG671 YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe for more races, and we'll see you when we go to Auto Club. And that will be the next race here on the, here in the Twin Peaks Cup Series. Thank you all so much for watching. We will see you next time.